The biggest worth you have is that which other people hold upon you. If you only have worth in yourself, it does nobody else any good. I mean, you have to have some sort of self-worth, obviously, but if that's all you have, it does you no good. You have to go out and prove you have worth. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. And I'm 45 and am just really coming to terms with this. Something I should have learned as a teenager. And no, your masculinity isn't your worth. Your femininity isn't your worth. Your sexual identity, your gender identity, your genetic identity, your racial identity, your political identity, your religious identity, yeah, they are not your worth. They have nothing to do with your worth. What do you do? How do you affect people? What do you bring to the table? If you, as yourself, were in a sitcom or even a silly cartoon that could have an infinite number of characters in it, what character would you honestly be represented as? Not who you wish you were, but what character would you actually be? Can you accept that character? Can you look at yourself from a different perspective and be okay with that? And if not, what do you need to change? I've come to realize that I've had a know-it-all attitude about a lot of things. I've sometimes pretended to know things I don't. Or I'll focus on one particular aspect of something, and because I know all about that one aspect, I somehow think I have a grasp of the larger picture. I've also sometimes said things about political subjects in generic ways because I don't actually have any specifics to offer. It's at that point I should just admit that it's an emotional thing, but I sometimes haven't, and I want to work on all of that. I get annoyed at people who are blatant about their know-it-all attitude. I think to myself, I work so hard to keep that attitude at bay, and here's this person, even going to the degree of bragging about it, and they get all this attention and money for doing it. While I've subscribed to the idea that it's immoral to do those things, why? Because it's what I was taught, and I never really questioned it. Looking back, I really wish I would have. I wish when I was little I wouldn't have stopped when I was told I was being a ham for getting up on the stage at an old school movie theater and dancing and enjoying an audience. I wish I would have had a male influence besides fucked up pastors and abusive teachers who call me a faggot to the whole class. You know, I wish I had reasonable male influence in some way to tell me that it's okay to be silly. It's okay not to have the same interests as other kids. It's okay to ham it up when doing creative things. And then, of course, the masculine lessons about life. But all I got were lessons that everything it is to be a guy is bad, that boys will be boys and they're bad for being boys, so you should try to be something else. As long as it isn't a queenie guy, that would be even worse, according to my upbringing. No, no, no. You have to be something that doesn't exist. And in high school... Be the perfect gentleman at the prom and do all the right things. And don't kiss the girl. That would be immoral, and that's what bad guys do. Be what God wants. So yeah, the, the whole bragging thing, especially when it can't be backed with anything, annoys the fuck out of me. It's why I hate most rap. It's all about bragging about shit that it's a huge gamble of whether you can back it up. Ooh, look at me. I'm a badass. I have weapons, money, and girls. What do you have? Now, this isn't all rap, obviously, but eh, there's an attitude, you know? And if they do it convincingly, they get lots of money. It's proof that attitude is often more important than actual output. It's why really stupid people can be successful. But anyway, in any relationship, no matter what it is, there's always a trade. There's always a transaction of some type. For instance, what does someone get out of a friendship? Even if it's purely emotional, it's still a transaction of sorts. It's still a trade. People being able to vent to each other about whatever is a good trade. And as Annie Lennox says, some of them want to use you, some of them want to get used by you, some of them want to abuse you, some of them want to be abused. When I look back, I feel I sometimes haven't been a very good friend to a number of people. People's generosity astounds me. I'm very thankful. I've come a long way, but I have a long way to go. I'm always going to be a work in progress.